students, I'm going to show you how to derive Kepler's third law from Newton's laws. Kepler's third law says that the period of an orbit squared is proportional to the radius of the orbit cubed. We start out by setting Newton's um, universal gravitation on the right side equal to the net force equation for objects moving in a circle. MS stands for the mass of the satellite, capital MP stands for the mass of the planet. So this satellite is in circular motion around the planet. We can start out by dividing things out. The mass of the satellite is gone. One R on the left is gone and one on the right. So now I have V squared equals G, gravitational constant, times the mass of the planet over R. I need to have a period, capital T, in my equation. So I can use this other relationship up here for orbital speed, 2 pi r over t. So 2 pi radius over period, that quantity squared, equals g mass of the planet over r. Let's go ahead and square everything inside the parentheses. 4 pi squared r squared over capital T squared equals g mass of the planet over r. So now we just want to do um, a little bit of rearranging to get t on one side and r on the other. So we can see whether they are actually proportional to each other. So I'll multiply both sides by t squared. That divides out t squared on the left, and I have t squared g mass of the planet over r equals 4 pi squared r. Oop, sorry, sorry, r squared. Forgot that that was squared up there. So now what I can do is multiply both sides by r and divide both sides by g times the mass of the planet. So that would be r over g times the mass of the planet. That divides everything out on the left side, and I'm multiplying by r over g mass of the planet on the right side. Okay, well let's just clean this up. Everything but t squared is divided out on the left, so I have t squared equals 4 pi squared, on the top I have r squared times r, so there's my r cubed, and then g mass of the planet on the bottom. That looks like what we need. I've got t squared on the left and r cubed on the right. Let's write that over here in the center and examine it a little more closely. t squared equals 4 pi squared over g mass of the planet times r cubed. If these things are proportional to each other, if t squared is proportional to r cubed, then everything that's multiplied by r cubed must be a constant. So let's check that. 4, just a number. Pi squared, obviously that's a constant. Capital G is the gravitational constant for universal gravitation. and mp is the mass of the planet, which won't change. So all of these things that are multiplied by r cubed are constants. So we've shown that it is correct to say that t squared is proportional to r cubed. Thanks for watching. Remember what one fool can understand, another can't.